Peace reign in Christchurch West for the next two years. Peace reign in Christchurch West for the next two years. And it is interesting that this upheaval between Maria Agard and certain elements of Christchurch was seen to only resurface at specific times. At specific times. So I believe that the mediation was never in good faith. And I go further and I say to you that even as the attacks were being made toward me, I tried my best to reach out, to bring peace and resolution to a branch that I had served for so many years. What you may not have known was that in February this year, I wrote the political leader and chairman of the Barbados Labour Party a letter asking her to convene a meeting with the parliamentary group, senior members of the party, so that they may be able to bring their seniority and their experience with themselves dealing with difficult branches to bear upon my challenges. Not only did I request that meeting, but no less than two other members of the parliamentary group also sought to have that meeting convened so that as a parliamentary group, we could all serve the interest of bringing a resolution to this conflict. Those requests were never entertained at all. And therefore, the efforts that were intended to bring serious and lasting resolution to the conflict were forever rejected. And I make that point because I'm saying to you that no institution should ever be held ransom to the whimsical fancies and the agendas of individuals. And even more so, an institution that aspires to form the next government. Issues like good governance and democracy should never be in question when dealing with an institution that desires to become the next government to lead the people of Barbados. The proceeding was an edited version of the media conference by former Barbados Labour Party MP and representative for Christchurch West, Dr. Maria Agard, about her expulsion from the party.